Okay, so to demonstrate how to manage and take a George gauge, this is what it looks like. It comes in a couple of different vertical thicknesses. This is a two thickness, and this is the longer one because I have a patient with a full dentition. Marco here is helping us out. Thank you, Marco. So what we'll be doing is measuring the George gauge. We'll request that Marco move his lower jar forward as far as he can, and we'll look at the number. We'll request he moves his lower jaw back as far as he can, and then we'll register approximately 50 to 60 percent of that distance. So let's go ahead and try it in. It's important that you line up the upper fork registration midline with the midline on the patient and request the patient bite down. Great. You can see I moved it over a little bit. Let's make sure we get it lined up. Open slightly and bite. There we go. Now you request the patient move their lower jaw forward and take a look at the, the millimeter reading. Now slide back as far as you can go. Now slide forward and back. And what you do is you take 50% of that movement, slide forward and freeze and you tighten down the George gauge so that you will get a bite registration in this position. It's important that you take a look posteriorly to verify how much material you will need to register the bite. What we'll do next is get a bite registration at this desired position. So we insert the upper at the midline and request the patient bite down. You can see he's almost end to end. And we want to make sure that we get the impression material in the posterior area to capture the cusps. Next, we're going to be using some Futardi to accomplish that. 